Now an update to a story that we first brought you last night at five. A new senior center is coming to Huntington's West End. Huntington City Council members, they were busy last night. They approved this measure uh, yesterday and 13 News reporter Natalie Wada. She joins us from the future location with reaction from those who, who will use it the most. Natalie. Well, Marilee, Amanda, senior citizens I spoke with say they are excited about this project and the location is convenient for folks on this side of town. We need it tremendously. Brenda Spangler lives in Madison Manor, a senior independent living high rise near the project site. I sit out in the lobby and I talk to people and there's people that have dial a ride that go to the doctors and places. Sometimes they're waiting out here for an hour for a ride. They could walk or ride their scooter. You know, they won't have to depend on that dial a ride. The $1.5 million funding is coming from the American Rescue Plan. The project is planned for 5th Avenue and 14th Street, behind Central City's iconic gazebo. The Senior Citizen Center will be back in here. You can see there's plenty of room, uh, and the road will remain, you know, there'll still be a lot of traffic. Bob Bailey on the Huntington City Council says he's worked to build a senior center here for 25 years. Now it's come to reality that the center will be built. A key part of the project is a wellness center. If someone comes in and wants a, a COVID-19 shot, they'll be able to give it because it is a wellness center also. And we will have exercise programs for the seniors. We'll have meals for them. It's just, and they'll have companionship. And that, that, that seems to be the big thing, companionship for seniors who are alone. Bailey says a previous senior center in what is now the Wild Ramp closed around seven or eight years ago. When this new project will be complete is still up in the air. In probably 18 months, maybe we can have her finished and completed. It'll make the community come together more and it'll give us a chance to get out and congregate more too. Now, the plan calls for the Cabell County Community Services Organization to own and maintain this center. And in addition to the funding, each city council member will receive $100,000 to spend within their district for COVID relief. Now, coming up tonight on 13 News at 6, I'll have reaction from local business owners here in the area about this new addition. For now, reporting live in Central City, Natalie Wattis, 13 News, working for you. All right, Natalie, thanks.